how much damage I'm doing on Duchess if my first uh, hit goes on UDK. Drop the mic, okay? Drop the mic. That's exactly how we're going. Little Miss Annie finally got a buff, guys. I am currently on the test server. This update will be live in-game on Thursday, okay? So I am posting this a couple of days before the actual update. I gotta say, I'm a fan of Little Miss Annie now, and I cannot wait to build the one that I have on my actual account and start using her in live arena, maybe even in classic arena. I think she's going to be very powerful. She's going to be a force to reckon with. She's going to absolutely delete any rotuses that she's encountering, okay? With the A1, basically what changed in here, she will actually have a chance to put defense down next to the heal reduction, and this will be uh, a 50% chance, fully booked 75% chance on a triple hitter basic skill. This will be massive on the Fire Knight as well, guys. It's definitely going to be a very, very strong uh, skill. This one right here attacks one enemy two times, and she's going to buff uh, herself with increased attack. Now, they increased the damage a bit on the skills, the multipliers, and on top of it, they removed everything that was conditional. So, I can't really remember it 100% from the top of my head, but for some of the skills, maybe this skill if I'm not mistaken, if the enemy was under a shield, she was going to ignore the defense. Now, she's going to ignore the defense regardless, it doesn't matter if they have a shield or no. This is great, guys, because she's one of those few champions that are able to hide herself out of the enemy sight, and um, you can keep her alive a bit better because of it. So not only that she will bring her own increased attack, which uh, doesn't require us to uh, bring in an Arbiter or anything like that, but she will put Perfect Veil, uh, perfect veil on herself and gain 30% Termiter and deal crazy damage. This skill right here, again, will ignore 25% of the target's defense. This uh, had some conditional stuff as well, if I'm not mistaken. And now you're going to place a revive on that, on the champion for two turns, if you kill an enemy. So you don't necessarily need to go in and bring, uh, I don't know what, reviver with her. And once she revives, you know, the, the drill, she's going to attack the champion that killed her. We're going to take her in for a spin. We're going to have a bit of fun with Little Miss Annie, the passives are still the same, guys. And you probably are already familiar with her passives, right? We have an attack aura in all battles. Now, my Little Miss Annie, she is empowered to plus two. I have a three-star blessing, which will actually give me quite uh, quite some stats on the champion. I am looking forward to get the next star, which will be the four-star. That will allow me to gain crit damage from here, too. 38% crit damage is going to be massive, absolutely crazy. So looking forward to, to that. I have her built on a Cruel and a Savage set. Total stats, 51k HP, 7.8k attack. Keep in mind, I have over 1,000 attack coming from Blessing and Empowerment. That's how big of a difference it is. 2.8k defense, 257 speed, uh, full crit rate, 294 crit damage. I don't want to get accuracy on her, guys, because the A1 can get her polymorphed. It's very likely for you to land one of those debuffs. So if you have accuracy, uh, it's a very high risk to, to get polymorphed if you're uh, playing in the higher end arena where you're encountering a lot of polymorph. Masteries, we have offense and defense. Uh, if you are using her in PvE, getting support and getting the accuracy, getting sniper, master hexer is definitely going to be extremely helpful. But because I don't want accuracy, how I mentioned, I decided to go with the defense tree and uh, just make her a little bit more tankier, you know, and get the shadow heal on her so she heals when the enemy heals. Uh, a counter attack, helm smasher as tier 6, of course, because we want to ignore even more defense. But leaving all that on the side, let me just quickly show you a couple of, uh, a couple of nice hits from her. I used to run uh, Miss Annie on... Uh, on the Sand Devils Necropolis on stage 7 when I was farming small pots. But then, since they buffed the, the drop rates for the oils, I'm not really doing it anymore, you know? So you can always start like this. Preferably, you want to start like this, leaving an uh, uh, Arbiter on the side, right? You start like this, you put increased attack on yourself, you put Veil, you're getting Termiter, and you go and you attack one enemy. 176, 191k. Get down, stay there. Don't come back. That's exactly what she's going to do. 
boost a bit of more thermometer, and because you already had the 30% thermometer from before, you're getting pretty close to get another turn. Then you can move over to the A3. One hit, 455k. The second hit did not even land it, but that will be another 400k. So you're basically almost hitting for 1 million damage with the A3. Pretty damn crazy, guys. Pretty damn crazy. So expect to see some insane numbers with that skill, even against Taras, against champions that are much, much tankier than uh, you would expect them to be. Look at that again. 214k, only one hit. She doesn't even need to use the second one. That's how good she is now. And I'm actually loving it. I am actually loving it. I've been asking for a buff on Little Miss Annie for such a long time. She just needed a buff, man. Look at that. 70k plus hit per A1. 200 plus K with the basic skill. Absolutely mental. Amazing, amazing uh, damage from uh, Little Miss Annie. But let's actually see what we can do in arena with her. I cannot wait to use her in live arena to be more specific. I think that she's really going to be very, very solid in there. Let's attack some teams that uh, have Taras and other tanker champions. So right here, let's go in like this. Hopefully we're fast enough. I don't need to bring an Acre to protect her, or at least I don't think so. Yes, she does get feared by Taras. That's one of the, the, the problems with her, right? Because uh, it will happen. But I want to I wanna Polymorph that Taras. We got Polymorph too, that's fine. Okay. Are we getting uh, feared or no? We're not, okay. Warlord go... One hit only. You don't even need a second. <laughs> you don't even need the second. So Kaima just proc the refresh accessory on the basic skill. What the heck am I missing? Or is it just the animation for the masteries? What was that? What was that? A1 on Kaimar. Going down, not a problem. I still have Duchess left alive. I still have Taras. But I'm actually waiting for Taras. I polymorph him before. So right now I'm going to be able to just go in and do whatever I want with him, right? Uh, let's use A1. I don't need to polymorph anybody in there. Yes, Armands is going to be nice as well. One hit, 91k the second, again, did not even proc. Not only that, but of course, you are actually destroying the, the max HP on the target. Taras can recover it. Most of the other champions cannot. Most of the other HP nukers will get affected by it. And uh, it will be very, very impactful. 91, 89k, bang. Very impactful. Finishing what I was uh, going to say. So, Little Miss Annie just destroying enemies now guys okay look at this 491k power let's kill some mythicals too let's kill some mythicals as well because why not so let's do that let's do that uh let's do that let's not polymorph anyone let's do that and let's just do that now armands come on and let's take that mythical down one hit I've smelled some reaction. I smelled some reaction there with the first hit of 39,000. But then the second hit proc. And it just put that hero to sleep. Put that hero to sleep. My god. That's, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I like that you are very, very likely to get that second hit regardless. If they have higher HP and defense than you. Which if you're attacking the right characters. Most probably they will. You're always going to get a second hit. And he's just so freaking powerful like honestly it's just crazy how powerful it is i'm loving it i am definitely definitely loving that guys how many of you guys are excited for little miss annie how many of you are planning to take her out of the vault if you were keeping her in there and build her for live arena or build her for uh, classic arena in general i feel like having a having such a powerful damage dealer even for a classic arena is going to be extremely helpful yes she doesn't ignore stone skin, I know. That is still one of the, the main things. But she's still going to be very, very impactful in general. Like, she will definitely uh, improve some of your, your teams, depending on what damage dealers you had available. Let's see what else we can find in here. Now, we are on the test server. We don't have uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of WoW uh, teams, you know. Victor test. Look at that. I want to I wanna try that out. I really, really want to try this out. Now, 
It's a double Taras in here, so it's a bit more dangerous. I might not win this fight. I'm, I'm letting you guys know from the beginning. Um, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So we got a Polymorph 1 Taras. Not that one from the left. I want to Polymorph this one from the right. Okay, we got Polymorph 2. It doesn't matter. Okay, see if he put us to sleep. Uh, they, I was scared of this, actually. Yeah. I was scared of that. But it's fine, because we do need to revive as well, you know. So one, one Taras is back. Oh, and I used this on Arbiter. Okay, let me come back. Let me come back to it. Let me come back to it, because I'm not even sure why I used that skill. Either I let it go on auto, either I just click like a, like a noob, you know. That happens too. So there we go. We log that. We drop the Termiter on both of the Taras right now. So they're not really such a big threat. Let me just do that instead. I feel better now. I just feel better now. <laughs> because we dropped that... Uh, that... Uh, Marichka. So now she's, she's much, much weaker than she was before. I still have the issue where uh, I can get uh, controlled by uh, the Tarasis by getting wrecked on my li Little Miss Annie. But then I forgot that I have Armas in the team and uh, I can't do this to them. Get all their Thermiter, stun them, and now let me go and wipe the rest of them. So what I can do right now, because I have Armas in the team, right? I can just go in and do this. Take her down. Bang, turn meter, so now I'm ready to move again. And at the same time, I have the increase attack. I don't really need it from Arbiter. Right now, I'm going to take that Sifi down, right? Because I can do it, why not? 219k hit, the second hit did not even proc. And I can continue to control these Tarasis till I get bored and slowly just pick them off with the Little Miss Annie, you know? Pretty, pretty good idea. I'm liking it, actually. So little is any, you have the A2 available. We have a weaken on that Taras. One hit, two hits. We destroyed the HP quite a bit. Of course, I don't think the A2 has enough firepower to take a Taras down, but the A3 does, you know. So I'm gonna save the A3 for the other Taras right there in the in the in the left corner. We're gonna go with the A1 in here. Okay. Then uh, let's do that again. Be a good boy, Taras. Just stay there. Don't do nothing. I wish I would have landed that weaken, but. We're going to have to go without it, you know. I think I still need to take one more turn before I have that available. So don't kill him. Okay, that, the A1 dealt pretty good damage as well. I have the A3 available now. So I'm slowly going to try to don't do too many things to see the A3 in action against Taras. Check this out. 114k, the second hit did not proc but it will proc 100% because he has higher defense, he has uh, higher HP. And I tried to explain you the whole process, two minutes the fight, I can definitely knock this down to probably like uh, 60 to 90 seconds with Little Miss Annie. Yes, the main issue that Little Miss Annie will have, guys, uh, to be very, very spot on, it will be Ultimate Death Knight. So because of Ultimate Death Knight, let's actually... Uh, give it a go and let me let me just show it's better to show you while i'm explaining you um you know he blocks the damage right and i i made a video on almas today and i was so focused on the a2 that uh i didn't really pay that much attention to the a3 that he doesn't actually attack and because he doesn't attack that's why you can bypass udk and you can put the ship on whoever you want basically it doesn't matter on who and is because he doesn't attack. UDK blocks attacks, not skills. That's why he is so much, uh, so much better for this uh, uh, this scenario than uh, Son Wukong, for example. You know, and uh, yeah, it's definitely a a solid, solid thing. Check this out. We're gonna put it on UDK. I want to have that on UDK. And uh, do not get, do not get feared. Okay, you got feared. That's fine. That happens sometimes as well. So I don't want to revive right now. Actually, I'm going to boost my turn meter to make sure I'm going uh, in front. Haha, <laughs> that stun is just beautiful. That stun is just beautiful. You gather turn meter and just keep them, keep them waiting there, you know? Okay, Dutch is down. We do not care about you. Get out of here. UDK is back. So let's see. That Taras has quite, uh, quite a bit of HP, right? It's 
fully loaded. So what I want to try, if I'm going to use the A3 right now, okay? If I'm going to use the A3 on Taras, the second hit will proc. One uh, will go to UDK for sure, but will the second go to Taras or no? Oh yes, but we hit reaction on Taras. UDK went down, the second hit uh, proc'd on Taras with reaction. If it was going to be no reaction, I fear that that Taras might be getting wrecked. Honestly, I think that uh, <laughs> that would have been pretty, pretty dangerous for Taras. So we have that weaken on him from Arbiter. A1, uh, A2, sorry. So we managed to get in a couple of hits and Soul Rip actually finished him. Now, in terms of a blasting, guys, I don't necessarily think that Soul Rip is the best. Uh, even Cast can be super solid as well. Uh, that's what I had from before. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to keep yet. I'll be very honest with you. I'm, I'm definitely going to be in between Soul Rip or uh, even cast, if I get to 6 star blessing on her, I will definitely consider Phantom Touch. That will bring in a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Now I want to fight one more team uh, that uh, can stay alive for a little, uh, a, lit a little longer. Let's go against this one. UDK and Rotos, and we have all the, all the things in here. Hopefully he's not faster than we are. So we don't get locked. So we locked him. Ooh, that warlord got resisted. We gotta end him. ASAP. Okay. Stun, bang, beautiful. And one hit is gonna go to UDK. One hit is going to put that warlord down. Job done, right? So from here on, we can slowly deal with the rest. Polymorph that UDK. Uh, try to use the A2 on, uh, on a little Miss Annie. Kill that Rotos. One, two, reaction, of course. That's, a, that's an issue that uh, will affect any champion. It's not just Little Miss Annie, which is fine. Because we have the A1 available. We can still go and try to take that Rotos down. The good thing, especially against Rotos, if you manage to deal enough damage, the first hit from the A1 will go to UDK. The, the other two hits will go to Rotos, which will not proc the passive. And it will bring in quite, uh, quite a bit of damage. Now, what I really, really want to get again is the A3 available on her. I want to get the A3 and see how much damage I'm doing on Duchess if my first uh, hit goes on UDK. Drop the mic, okay? Drop the mic. That's exactly how we're going to end this video. Drop the mic. One hit to UDK. The second puts the enemy to sleep. That is... Little Miss Annie buffed in 2024 for you ladies and gentlemen. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you planning to start using her now that she got buffed? I definitely uh, think she's much, much better. I cannot wait personally to build her on, a, on the account and take her in for a spinning live arena and stuff. Appreciate every single one of you guys watching. Much love and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.